YouTube, it's your girl, came back another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys have my title. We are going to be doing another Get Ready With Me. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I get this look. I had to finesse it. It looks a mess in the back. We're not going to talk about it. Um, but if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, help your girl grow. Um, but if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, then stay tuned. So hopefully by this point in the video we would have seen the finished look. Um, I am going to be installing and styling my new Freedom Couture wig. Very excited. Um, not going to glue down a stocking cap because this is just really for content. I'm not going anywhere. But I am going to put on a stocking cap. And then just take my hairs and tuck it under. So I put on the stocking cap and as you can see here I was checking and I realized like hey I had to glue this down because like I said it was looking crazy. You were seeing the really thick part of the stocking cap. Now that it's glued down you can see where it looks a lot more natural and you can't see that thick band. So the wig is installed um, for the most part. Now I'm going to get into doing my makeup. I am going to speed through that portion. I'm going to show you guys, because by this point you would have seen the finished look. I'm going to show you guys my inspiration for the hair and makeup that I'm going to show in this video. Uh, outside of that, you guys, again, like I said, you're going to have to make sure you're following me on Instagram to be able to see what the other look was that I styled with this. So this is the makeup and hair that I'm going for. Y'all see that? Fire. I wasn't going to do big lashes, but it calls for big lashes, so I got to do big lashes. So I'm going to get into my face. I already sprayed some primer on my face. Where's the cap for this? I already sprayed some primer on my face. Um, not primer, setting spray. So I'm just going to go in and do like my concealer, foundation. Y'all know jazz. I'm just going to speak through it because we don't need to see me do this. 10 times every single time I do a video. The hair and the outfit is the most important part. So I start off by concealing the areas that I want to highlight, if that makes any sense. And then I'm gonna go in and just blend that out. I do also highlight twice or conceal twice, um, make sure that it's blended out. And I do a soft set with the setting powder. Once that's done, I'm going in here with my ColourPop foundation, blending that out. I then use a sponge just to make sure that the lines are not harsh. Then I'm gonna go in and do my nose contour, cheekbones, jawline, and then also just make sure that it also is blended out so it's not too harsh of a line. This is where I go in and do a full bake with the setting powder. So the first time that I set it is so it doesn't crease while I do the rest of my face. This is where I fully bake. Now it's time for eyebrows. So uh, when I do blonde, I conceal my eyebrows first before filling it in. This helps to make it look a little bit more natural and more complementary to the blonde hair that I'm wearing. So I always mention, hey, you know, makeup, hair, everything has to go. Once they're filled in, I go and comb it out and then I clean it up with my concealer. I do like a very defined brow, but at the same time I don't want it to look unnatural. So I go in with this brush and just kind of soften the lines. Once that's done, I go in with my refi brow and comb up those hairs. Um, as you guys can see, once I do that, it kind of looks more like hair rather than like it's been painted on my face. Then this is a crucial part. I comb those hairs down. Now I don't pluck, tweeze, do anything to my brows naturally, so this just kind of helps to keep those hairs in line. Now I'm going in with my eyeshadow base. I believe this is the Rumor by P. Louise. Um, and just applying that all over my eyelid, my brow bone, just everywhere. Then once that's done, I'm gonna go in here. I think this is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Just a nice matte brown. Uh, in the creases here, I'm doing Carbon by MAC and then just blending that out. 
Now I'm going in here with Lorelei. It's a limited edition color from MAC, but it's just the right amount of glitter for the look. Now it's time to add my dry contour. So I'm just going in and contouring over the areas that have already been contoured. This is a cream blush that I picked up from ColourPop. You guys would have seen me unbox it in one of my vlogs. I actually really, really like it. So I follow that up with my dry blush. Now it's time to brush out the excess setting powder that I have on my face. I'm gonna go in again and just make sure that my contour, my highlight, just, you know, the finishing touches of the face just doesn't look unnatural. I just like to make sure everything is blended to give me a more seamless finish. I then go in under my waterline with matte carbon, and then I follow that up with also with Swiss chocolate. It just kind of gives a natural, nice brown, smoky look to under the eye. So we're gonna line our lips. You guys know I love a dollar lip liner, so that's what we're using here. If you guys know any good ones, let me know. Comment down below. The back of the brush that I used to highlight, I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight in the corners of my eye. Done. Um, I'm gonna go in and do the lip. I'm probably gonna do Mall It Over by MAC because that's pretty much what it looks like. For lashes, obviously, we're gonna do Balm Extensions and the Style Doja. My light over here died, so hopefully there's no difference in the lighting, but if there is, that's the reason why. Um, the look does call for bigger lashes, so that's why I'm doing Doja. You guys know Melody was my favorite style, but they don't make Melody anymore, so the girl gotta do what I gotta do. Like, they look big in person, but like sometimes, like I said, the look calls for big lashes and the look does call for big lashes, but it can be a bit much sometimes but they're very light. I know I always preach um, bomb extensions. No, I don't get paid, um, but they are, they're affordable and they're really good. Like, really good. Yo, these lashes look really big, but they also look really good, especially on camera. I don't know if I would actually wear these out, but they look really good on camera. Now I'm gonna go with my lipstick, mull it over, Yo, this lipstick, if you haven't tried it, I feel like it just, it's a hit. I'm gonna go in with that lip gloss. Uh, it's an old school lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. I don't even know if they carry this color any longer or if they didn't carry lip gloss any longer. I'm just gonna go in with that over it. Yeah, that's really just gonna be what it is cause I still gotta film another video and take pictures for Instagram because obviously this is to get ready with me but this is the oh and style my hair forgot about that and do my accessories and put on it's a lot of work to be a content creator thank you for the people who support me I really appreciate y'all but all right I'm gonna go wash my hands wash off all the makeup off my hands and then come back and style this wig because yeah it's uh it's giving that it needs to be styled all right, so it's time to execute look number two. Like, I don't know if y'all can see by my face, I am tired. The life of a working mother content creator is no joke. It's been several hours to be exact. Um, almost four hours, see the time? 3.43 a.m. Sunday, December 18th. And uh, yeah, I, uh, Gotta pick up where I left off from because I ain't got no choice but to get it done. But I'm tired. Y'all know if y'all watch my vlogs, I haven't posted one. I'm not posting one this Sunday. I don't even know when this video is gonna go out to be honest. But um, oh, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm like I wanna say out of it. I don't like feeling when I'm tired for this exact reason. But um. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna put this video out um, on this get ready with me because I have other videos that I feel like have a higher priority um, like like hair videos for instance so this will definitely come after those but being a content creator is no joke if you want to make it you gotta push forward and I don't know what's in my eye just gonna have to stay there because I can't I don't want to say muster up the strength but Let's get back into styling this hair, right? I don't, don't even ask me how I'm about to do this updo. I don't put mousse in the hair, but I don't know what's in my eye. But this is the mousse I use, guys. It's like a holding mousse. I got it from Sally's. 
beauty supply and you guys just saw like I like it it was really stiff really good hold and the minute I combed it out look at this I actually think the wig is bouncier <laughs> once it's combed out but let me get into styling this I am just going to fast forward through that portion because I just got to get it done at this point um so let's see how this hair is styled it looks like it's like a messy bun I can't even I did an update video by this point you would have seen that update video this cap construction it's either the wig I can't even say that the wig's too big because I have other medium wigs and it fits the way a medium wig fix, fits in the front but this like gap in the back yeah I prefer a stretch cap even if you want to put wefts in the back have the cap be able to adhere to the back of my head all right that's enough of a ramble about this wig because this video is not about this wig but let's get into wrapping up this very long filming process for this get ready with me okay it's a messy bun so we have what looks like about this out in the front I guess the one good thing about this wig being shorter in the front is it already looks <laughs> I like the style in the picture, cut wise. Like it looks cute in the mirror, hopefully it looks cute on camera, but this back is just not giving. I know what I'm going to do. y'all don't don't talk about me in the comments i look crazy but from the front it's given it's all that matters we only gonna be taking front shots so this is the outfit right the skirt and i mentioned it to you guys in my last get ready with me like hey you know i got this outfit and i never wore it and because i gained weight just like the jeans when i did put it on it just didn't look good but then what happened in that three hour break that I had to, you know, have home life, I ate. So if I wasn't looking like a pig in a blanket before, I look like a pig in a blanket now. <laughs> Put this top on, see what it's doing. It actually doesn't look bad. It looks better than when I put it on a few weeks ago, which means that these workouts are paying off. I am sucking in, but even without sucking in normally, the life I'm about this hangs over a little bit more and it's not so I am doing something right something right all right let me get this bag I don't even know how I'm gonna rock this bag I think I might just use a short strap so put that in there ain't this a mess not close to take pictures for social media what is the world coming to and then hold it like this, right? And the nude shoe with the toe print, I'm telling you, I feel like it calls for like a chain. Maybe I'll put a chain on. Oops, put on a chain, but let's put these earrings on because this earrings is about to 
Oh, these are clip-ons. This is what happens when you just don't pay attention. I should learn my lesson, right? Because I did buy like three of the same ankle bracelets that I thought was a bracelet. Whew, child. It's probably because of sleep deprivation. This is actually perfect that these are clip-ons. Oh, this is cute. I do feel like the look calls for a necklace. Let me check, see what I got. Oh, I cannot walk on these shoes and they already hurt. And I'm legit just walking through my house. So this is the finished look. Um, it's the bag that I got from Macy's to go with the look. The nude pumps. This is actually a separate pretty little thing that I've had for few years um jewelry those bracelets that i got from macy's rings this i got from macy's this i don't remember where i got it from and this i got from etsy um so if you guys have stayed tuned thank you don't forget to like comment subscribe share you know help your goal grow uh but that wraps up this get ready with me for instagram pictures make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, because uh, like I said, you would have already gotten a sneak peek of this look. So make sure you head on over Instagram, TikTok, and obviously on YouTube. But that wraps this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.